welcome to Ekanik. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the status of your Kali converter. So, if you're wondering whether your Kali converter is working effectively or if it's you know starting to clog up, then this video is going to be helpful for you. Now, um, one common symptom of the Kali converter is the fact that you have that check engine light in P420, but sometimes the code could be misleading because maybe you have an issue with the oxygen sensor. So well, what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at the actual reading voltages of the actual uh, of the exit oxygen sensors and we are going to compare the upstream and the downstream sensor so in this car we're going to going to select you have all the makes over here you know uh this is going to basically work the same for all makes and models so it doesn't really matter what vehicle you're working on so then i'm going to take the bluetooth adapter and plug it in the OBD2 port underneath the dashboard. And what you do is you hit Smart VIN, it'll pick up the VIN number, then you select left hand steering. And uh, what we're gonna do is you wanna go to control modules, go to drive, go to uh, engine control unit, in this case it's cold motor electronics. It's usually the first option there on that list. And then you go to live data. We are looking for the oxygen live data. Then down here at the bottom, you select further actual values and then oxygen sensor. And we're just going to hit select all. Now, here you can see the values. You can see left. So, this is a V6. You got a left and the right um, Cali converter. So, you can see left and right. And it says after, so it's going to be the after the Cali converter. You see those voltages there. And you also see the before, um, left and right. So you can see the values right there. So what you want to do is you want to go to graph, go to multi graphs, select, let's see, merge graph. Uh, you can show up to four if you merge graphs, but let's go to multi graphs. What we're going to do is we're going to compare the left and then we're going to select the left, the downstream. Uh, so we'll go to oxygen sensor left, it says after and then left. So you can see that. So now the before Cali converter it's normal. This is good where we see these um, up and down fluctuations. Of the voltages um, so it's really measuring the voltage uh, of the upstream Cali converter but that is an indication of the oxygen levels so as soon as the gases are coming from the engine you're gonna see this up and down a lot of fluctuations uh, and this is normal this is good uh, because the Cali converter is not hasn't done anything to the gases as they uh, on, when they're detected at the upstream Cali oxygen sensor but once they go through the Cali converter and then you look into the downstream oxygen sensor. Now again, we're looking left for the upstream and left the downstream, uh, it says after. We wanna see a really steady line. So as you see here on this line, you can see that we're hovering right about 0 0.7. So what this is showing us that the Cali converter is doing its job. You have gases, they're not treated as a before uh, the Cali converter, you can see all these fluctuation, so that's the right way to the good thing to see. And then the downstream, we're seeing this really steady line because uh, the gases are being cleaned up and then the oxygen levels are pretty um, steady. So you want to see something around maybe two, 0 0.5 hovering around there, 0 0.6, maybe 0 0.7. This is typical uh, if the Cali converter is doing its job. But if it's not doing its job, then what you're gonna see is you're gonna see graphs up and down on the downside, uh, downstream oxygen sensor, kind of resembling the, the upstream. So what that means is the catalytic converter is not really doing anything to the exhaust gases. So whatever you're seeing upstream, you're seeing downstream, and that is not good. So this is the healthy catalytic converter. So I've only looked at the left catalytic converter Let's look at the right Cali converter as well. Okay, so we go here, Lambada control before is, uh, on this one is called Lambada control for, uh, for the upstream uh, O2 sensors. So now we're looking at the right on this 
graph. And then on here, we're gonna look at the O2. It says O2 sensor voltage after the Kali converter, it says right. So um, you can see here, we, we see the same thing. We see fluctuations uh, uh, before the Kali converter or monitored by the um, oxygen sensor upstreams. So you know, it's fluctuating. You can really f fluctuate a lot between 0 0.5 all the way up to like one um, and even slightly higher than one but on the downstream though we see this pretty steady line so that's what we want to see that's what you want to see on a healthy catalytic converter like I said earlier if you're seeing fluctuations or on the downstream you're seeing like a really extremely low value like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 there is that possibility that um, the oxygen sensor itself can be defective and that is where it gets a little tricky so the voltages you want to see for the upstream, a lot of fluctuations between 0 0.5 to about 1, slightly higher than 1, and a lot of values, you know, changing rapidly. Um, on the downstream, what you want to see is you want to see a steady, um, you know, reading somewhere between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. That would be ideal. And that would be what a healthy Kali converter looks like. Um, so the other thing you could do is I'm just simply have the engine running right here I'm gonna rev it up really quick so we can see um, so right now I'm at let's see 3,000 rpms and you can see that upstream uh, you can see the downstream as well drop there quite a bit um, And that, that right there is normal, but if, if you keep it steady at one uh, steady RPM, let's say 2000, that's where you should see the downstream uh, oxygen values of uh, voltages of the oxygen sensor be steady. Because that's where a catalytic converter starts to do its job. I mean, when you are revving up and down really quick, the catalytic converter, it cannot um, clean, you know, clean the exhaust that quick. Uh, so you might see these kind of fluctuations here that you see because they're just uh, quick changes in the oxygen level and it's going to cause that quick change in voltages um, and that's okay but when you have you know uh, when you're holding the steady rpms let's say here I ho I'm holding steady at 2000 you know you can see it stabilizes the downstream stabilizes 0 0.8 the upstream is doing its job it's just going all, all over the place which is normal for the upstream oxygen sensor now the other thing that you could do is you could um if you suspect maybe you do have issues or intermittent issues or, or so on hit record and then go take the car put the scanner off to the side go take the car on for a test drive and then when you come back you can go ahead i'm going to pause this it's, you know record very long just say uh, save that and then you can kind of um, review this at a la later time I'll show you where to pull that file so if you go to data manager go to uh, data record data playback sorry about that and you can see this one right here and you do have the option to actually select the data and you can see their readings right here okay and you can actually come in here and say hey I, I want to graph that and then when you play it it's going to show you those actual values so that's pretty cool like you're not going to be limited to like it's not really a screen recording it's actually a data recording and then you can play any of the data you want uh, right here on the screen so you can play, you know, the multi graphs or whatever on you'd like to to graph. But that's all, and that's hopefully you can narrow it down if you have a bad Kali converter, or maybe you just have uh, bad oxygen sensors, or who knows, maybe the car is like running too rich or um, too lean. What you should always do as well, you should always run a full scan on the car, and then you at least kind of look at the other fault codes that you may have because sometimes you might have something issue, some other issue that's going on that needs to be addressed. It might not even be a Kylie converter problem at all. But thank you for watching in Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.